Hello all my servers, ladies and ladies out there, how's it going, it's Brad Whelan, also known as JimmyJ57, and welcome back to another GTA 5 Pimp My Ride episode. Now today we are going to be doing this Pimp My Ride on the Benefactor Schwarzer, and this car I finally found online. It took me a while to find it. I believe I did a Pimp My Ride on the... I think I did a Pimp My Ride on this before, but something happened with the video file, so I never actually uploaded it. But I'm doing it now. It's a pretty cool car. It's a sports car, which I think it should almost be a coupe because it isn't as fast as the other sports cars, but it is still a very cool car and it does have lots of modifications on it that I do like. So today I'm actually doing this online because that's where I found it and I figured I'd do it here. I'm not going to be doing any of the armor brakes, that kind of stuff, because I don't plan on actually really driving this car for any sports races. And I'm trying to save money for future Pimp My Rides, future updates to come out because if you saw after the last update, that Persian T20 being 2.1 mil, or two mil? I can't even remember anymore, but it's just super crazy expensive. So I want to be able to save money to be able to do future Pimp My Rides. So forgive me, I'm just going to be doing aesthetic aesthetics today, but I mean, that's probably what you sirs are here for, not the armor on the car. So let's get started. So bumpers first today, we got the Euro bumper, the exposed intercooler, and the custom splitter and intercooler. So if we're going kind of like for a really sporty look on this car, I definitely go with the intercooler, but I'm not really sure what I want for this car. Um. I think I, I think I'm actually gonna go like full sports mode for this car, like make it look really sporty. So we'll go with custom splitter and intercooler, and on the back the rear diffuser obviously is a must-have for any sporty car. Now for exhaust, we can get the dual exit, the dual titanium, oval exhaust, and race exhaust. Now for all these, I think it's probably gonna have to be the titanium. Titanium I always love so much just because that blue ring at the back, it looks awesome, but I don't know, the race exhaust also look pretty cool. Um you know, I'm going to try something different this time. I'm going to try going with the race exhaust. They are pretty cool exhaust pipes. Now, grill. We can get the uh, the big badge grill. Get that logo right in the front, which actually I kind of like. I kind of like having that Benefactor logo on there. It looks pretty cool. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it out with the Benefactor logo. Now, hood. I can get carbon hood, which depending on the color of car I choose, the carbon hood might actually be okay with both the carbon uh, diffuser and the front bumper that I have. So I'll leave that for now, but I'll come back to that. Light. We're gonna, gonna go with uh, Xenon lights and neon kit. Um, maybe I'll leave that to the end, just depending on the color I lose, or I use, sorry, I lose. Anyway, um, yellow and black plate, respray. Now here's what we wanna do. This is what we wanna make look really nice. So I'm thinking for this one, um, this is hard. I think I might do a graphite with a really cool pearlescent. Let's see what we can do here. So red pearlescents look nice-ish. Uh, what else do we got? Pink, oh my god, the pink pearlescent, that looks, that looks interesting. Uh, the orange pearlescents always look nice. Let's see, go down farther. What do we have? Lime green, looks okay. Um, the ultra blue looks nice, actually. I kind of like that for the car. That looks pretty cool. And I think the last one that probably look nice is just the purple. So that'd be right here, the bright purple. So I think for this car, hmm. Let me see, let me see. Just go back to metallics for a sec. What if I did a shade darker and then go back to pearlescence and try out the blue? I wanna see what the blue would look like a tad darker. Um, that's the lime green again. The lime green does look nice, it does. I think I might go with the ultra blue though. So ultra blue's right here. I think that looks pretty fancy. That looks, that's looking pretty spiffy for this car, the pearlescent. All right, so we'll throw that on there. Now roll cage. We can do awesome roll cage and chassis upgrades to get those awesome racer seats in there. This is going to be a racer style car. Now, next we have the roof. Could be a carbon roof, but I think for this car, I'm not going to do the carbon. I think I do like it with the whole car having the color. Now, custom suits, we can get one or two. Let me take a better look at that from the side here. So, the two kind of has the step with the carbon trim, which it has to be that one if we're going for the sports look on this car. So, I'm going to go with that. Spoiler, then we can go ducktail high level or we can do carbon wing ah oh, this one's hard i the ducktail's okay i do like the high level though and i do like the carbon wing i think for this one the wing might be better that one looks like it looks better the high level looks like it looks better on other cars not this one so i think i'm gonna go with the carbon wing it just matches all the other carbon accents we have so that that to me looks better suspension will drop that um, transmission, we'll leave. Those are both non-aesthetic non things. Now, wheel type. This one, let's go into sports wheels for a sec. Um, stock wheels, of course. We're not going to buy chrome anything. Chrome is ridiculous. And I think I might want the Frosi RR, just because they're studded wheels. And if you can see on the, um, 
the trim around the the wheel bays or whatever they're called have studded uh like have studs on them so i think it matches really well i think it looks nice we'll try that out now if i can get a good color on here that'd be perfect uh let's see where's our dark blues i think there's a really uh, is there a dark blue one so yeah there's the midnight blue that we can do or we can do royal blue baby blue and bright blue so i'm thinking i don't know i think blue on the wheels might be a little too much let's just stock wheels is I'm gonna go with black wheels. I'm just gonna go with straight up black wheels on this one. We'll do custom tires, bulletproof tires we don't need. Uh, and I think we'll go with a blue tire smoke. Yes. All right. And then finally, all we have left to do is windows. There's a limo tin on windows. And I think we are good to go. Let's take this beauty outside. Nice and bright so you can see that nice shine of the pearlescent. And here's our finished Benefactor Schwartz. So you users can take a look. It's looking pretty nice. Uh, I do like the paint job I did on there. The, what was that? The black steel and then uh, the ultra blue. I think that actually looks really nice. I never, I don't think I've ever done that color before, but it's looking pretty damn awesome. So take a look at that out in the sun. And this car is looking pretty sporty right now. I actually like it. I, I might drive this around the city more. I mean, I'm not going to use it for races. It's not the fastest sports car there is on the market, but it's a pretty cool one, I have to say. It's a pretty cool car. When I saw it on the road, I'm like, definitely have to pimp this car. So if you sirs thought this was a good episode, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Tell me how I did, how you liked it, and if you have pimped this car before, what colors you used on your Benefactor Schwarzer. So I hope you just enjoyed the video very much. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, have a good day. And don't drive like me.